hello guys welcome to my youtube channel how you guys doing it's ina thanks for coming if you're a first timer welcome if you've been viewing me welcome as usual so today i'm just here doing a little short bible studies with you guys i'm just gonna read some scriptures and we'll talk about it quickly and we'll call it a day okay guys so my first scripture I'm going to be reading to you guys today is coming from the book of Deuteronomy 18 verse 10 to 12 says, There shall not be found among you any that make his son or his daughter to pass his the fire, or that uses divination or observe, observers of the time of any enchanter or wish, or a charmer or consulted with familiar spirit or wizards. Okay, guys? For all that do these things are abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God, do I drive them out from before thee. Okay, guys. So, those that are in the court that are practicing witchcraft or spell, I want to encourage you to get up as soon as possible. Because the Lord does not accept such thing. And if you're practicing any of these things... You are being already condemned to hell. You have sold your soul to the devil. And it's not a very good thing because you don't want to end up in hell. You, want to, you don't want to spend eternity in hell with the devil. So turn away from any evil practice. If you're in the court on witchcraft or practicing witchcraft or divination, come out as soon as possible. Because the Lord has rejected all these things and it's not good for you. If you're practicing these things, you're condemning your soul to hell. And you don't want to spend eternity in hell. You want to go to heaven and spend eternity with, with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you haven't accepted as your Lord and Savior, I encourage you to do so. Because the time is short and his coming is closer than we think or imagine. So, if you're practicing any of these occultic things, practicing witchcraft, divination, occultism, I encourage you to come out as soon as possible. Because when you die, that's the end of your life. You don't have no time to repent or to turn away. But now that you're alive, God has given you another chance to accept his son as your Lord and Savior. He died for you so he can give you life and life more abundantly. And you want to spend eternity in heaven than in hell. So if you're practicing any divination, any occultism, any witchcraft, come out and surrender your life to Jesus. He's so faithful. He will wash you, cleanse you, and forget Every sin that you've ever committed against them and deliver you. So turn away soon, guys.